doing? I'm recording this video for the Let's Defend the IO um, website. Um, they sent me a few questions to answer. Um, so my name is Travis Brazil. Um, I'm from New York City. I'm 33 years old. Um, current just switched over to cybersecurity, and I'm so happy that I did. Definitely enjoying it. Why the blue team? Well, I like the blue team because I feel that you have to stay on your toes. You have to do it. It, compass, it encompasses so much. Um, where it goes down to threat intelligence, um, knowing commands, knowing the Linux and Windows systems. Um, I just like it because you know you get to stop the red team. I feel like everybody wants to be on a red team, so being on being on a blue team is just like, yeah, I'm cooler than you. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons that I like the blue team. Um, and it's the fact that I think that doing digital forensics is pretty cool. Um, you know, going into the computer and, and finding stuff that's hard to find, that not the average person can go look and just find it on their own, you know? So that's one of the reasons why I really like the blue team. What was the most challenging part of getting started? The most challenging part of getting started is actually sitting down and figuring out where to start. It's just mind boggling, like, cause there's so many different websites, there's so much information out there to review and go over. So it's just like, where do I begin? And that is kind of like the most frustrating part because cybersecurity is so huge and it encompasses so much. So it's like, where do you begin? You know, um, yeah. How has Let's Defend helped you? Oh man, they have helped me tremendously a lot. Honestly, um, I just got a SOC analysis job and um, at a bank and a week or two before the interview, I was doing labs on the Let's Defend IO website and it prepared me to go into the interview to ask questions like, do you guys have a source system set up? Is there a playbook there? Um, and so many other questions, you know. Um, so they were truly impressed. And it gave me leverage because with Let's Define That IO to be on the blue team, they tell you about how threat intelligence is so important. So tell them that I have access to like Alien Vault or um, if there is some something suspicious, you could use the hash of a file or URL to submit to Virus Total. Things like of that I really didn't know before using Let's Defend IO. So when I had my interviews, that made me really stand out to the my employer. Is it important for training to be hands on? I definitely think training hands on gives you the up and up. It makes you stand out. It makes you feel comfortable because. Like I've been saying and reiterating that cybersecurity is so vast and so huge. So having the command line tools, having the hands-on SOC analysis um, truly makes you feel comfortable because this this career isn't, it's not easy. And having the hands-on experience gives you some comfortability and that, okay, I know I'm doing this correctly because I did a lab on Let's Defend IO and this is how it was some comfortability and that, okay, I know I'm doing this correctly because I did a lab on Let's Defend IO and this is how it was done and these are the commands that I may have used or this is the steps that I took to actually get some things done. So you, you, you have that. If you start over, what would you do differently? If I could start over, I wouldn't start at the age of 33. <laughs> I always stay, start at the age of 18, 19. Um, Cause in high school I was um, helping with like network, building the network of the, DO, the DOE, with, with the high school that I went to. So um, I was part of the geek squad in high school, but I didn't want to stay there for whatever reason, you know? Um, my parents convinced me to go into healthcare instead, um, rather than uh, um, 
you know, data science, computer programming, and things like that. So I would definitely start at a younger age because, you know, learning it at 33, I'm not going to say it's hard, but, you know, when you're younger, you know, you kind of grasp things way more easier than you do at a later age in life. I would definitely do that one earlier. Another thing I would do is um, just get into the grind, man, and just to start sooner rather than later. I think that's one of the major things I would do. Um, yeah. What advice would you give those who don't know where to start? If you don't know where to start, I would always look at your person. If you're around my age or something, look at the work you have been doing already. See how your work complements the cybersecurity realm. For me, I was in healthcare. I was in charge of um, patient demographics. Um, my title was associate systems analyst, and I had to keep the integrity of the patient chart records. Um, and my job was a little complex where, let's say if somebody had the same name and they chose the wrong person in the registration field or in the emergency department, we would watch logs to see that, contact the people, and um, remedy the situation as soon as possible. Um, so for me, being a cybersecurity analyst was like, that's a given. I, I, I'm i not watching logs, but I'm watching the, the HIPAA logs for patients. So to me, that's kind of like watching logs to see the difference in what's changing and things. So whatever your work is now, try to correlate to cybersecurity to see how you could make the two come together um, to become one for you so it all makes sense to you. Um, what else? Hold on, let me see. All right. Um, if, if you haven't started working yet, my advice would just be to start somewhere because let's say if you don't like being on a blue team, you would find that out sooner rather than later than just going on a red team. Or maybe you want to go strictly into management or maybe you want to go into risk management. So just start early, get a feel for cybersecurity and, you know, um, do the labs, read the book and see where your personality fits and shines so that you could, you know, explore the different opportunities within this career field, you know. But um, that is all the questions. Um, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, speak to you soon.